Hey guys, this is the mobile desktop dock for the ROG phone. It's an incredible little device and it basically allows you to get a full desktop gaming experience on the ROG phone and you can also seamlessly switch all your peripherals that are plugged into this between your phone and your PC, which is a phenomenal feature. Now let's take a look at the IO first off. Now here on the left, we have the USB type C port for charging. We have three USB 3.1 ports, which is great. I love having four here. These are for your peripherals like mouse, keyboard. We have a one gigabyte ethernet connection, so you won't have lag. You can get your full high speed internet directly into your ROG phone. We also have two display out options. You can go with the DP port or you can go with an HDMI port if you prefer. Over here on the right, we have SPDIF audio out, and we also have mic, so you can also put a line in if you're recording audio. Now on the side, we have a few more, some bonus IO. We have here an SD card reader, which is really nice to have. We also have a micro USB connection. This is to plug the port into your PC so you can switch between your phone and your computer at the press of a button. Finally, here on the right, we have another display port out. Now let's take a look at how we go ahead and set this device up with the ROG phone and a gaming desktop. All right, guys, let's go ahead and plug everything in, starting with USB type C. And we'll get our mouse and keyboard in here. And ethernet for a good gaming connection. And we're gonna use the HDMI port to display out to our monitor. All right, now let's finish up with the display port here and the micro USB, and this will give us that connection to our desktop computer. All right, so now all we have left to do is dock. So once I plug in the phone here, you can see that we are now connected to the monitor just as if you plugged in the phone with a separate cable. Now what I can do is push this button here. So now we can see the phone's display is mirrored here on the monitor. So let's go ahead and open up this game here. Okay, so now we're in the game. We can actually start to set up our key bindings. Now you need to open Game Genie. There's two ways to do this. One is swiping to the right on the phone or you can just hit F11 on your keyboard. This is way easier and go directly into the key mapping function. Now, once you're in, there are two ways you can add control to your game. The first is by hitting the plus button here, and we've assigned a few inputs, and let's try and test out the arrow keys here. This is a common control in a lot of mobile games. Let's just click and drag that over here, and I can actually customize this, by the way. So I can change to H here or change to A. In this case, we're gonna stick with the WASD setup, and hit X when you're done, and we're gonna test that right now. So you can see that I'm able to control my character's movement using the WASD keys, and this will mimic my thumbs input. So we'll bring up the key mapping again, and another way I can assign buttons is just by pushing the button on the keyboard. So I can do this with all my buttons, and then I can click and drag that button wherever I want it. So in this case, we'll use space for our basic attack. And again, when you're done, hit the X button, and now I can move around again with the WASD and I can hit the space button and fire my attack just like so. All right guys, so that was a really quick overview of the mobile desktop dock for the ROG phone. Now you can see with the key mapping, all the IO, this dock brings a ton of functionality to a mobile platform, turning it into something completely new. And this is a really incredible accessory. If you're getting an ROG phone, this is definitely one you'll wanna check out.